What's up, everybody? Surreal. Coming to you from the Small Fry Show. We're getting this Thursday night started, man. Uh, what I want to talk about on, on this video is, is freight is slow right now. But before we get too deep in this thing, you already know what I need you to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the family. Also, the views and topics expressed in these videos are minds and minds only. They do not represent the company that I work for. I am not a spokesperson for said company. Now that we got that out the way, how everybody's doing? Hopefully you're having a good week and whatnot. But I want to talk about the current state that we in. I want to say industry-wide, but I'm just going to speak on what I know. That way I ain't, I ain't giving no false information because I could very well be wrong. So to keep me from being wrong, I'm going to speak on what I know. Freight is slow right now. I know for us here in this LTL business, the company that I work for, the terminal that I'm out of, which, like I told y'all, my terminal is, is a bulk freight terminal. We're not the end of the line. We 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 break freight for every all across the country, you know, relays and stuff like that. So it's been like this since right before Easter. And I'm gonna be honest, it seems like it's gonna be this way for the foreseeable future. I, I don't see it changing. Now, you know, that can mean one, one of a couple things. Hold on, hold that thought. We, we gotta flag some tracks, so. Y'all see me flag these tracks before? Roll your windows down so you can hear. You gotta be able to look for the train and hear the train. person carrying the burden of missing work um, and really you just got to be able to see it through man and hope and, and, and know that things will eventually get better if somebody told me when I started LTL get a month a month of your bills and saving you know at least a month and you'll always be all right because it's, it's not if, it's when. It's going to slow down, you know? But the key is, the thing is how long. So, also, you may get canceled on one of your days. Say your Monday through Friday. You get canceled one of your weekdays. Then you may have to come in on Saturday or Sunday. Or, you know, if you Tuesday through Saturday or Sunday through Thursday, and you're missing a day, you may they may have freight on another day. That, that can very well happen. 
It's, it's on what your lifestyle allows and what you truly want. You may get your kids and can't, you know, you may work this schedule. You may work nights, get your kids during the day. Therefore, you, you can't do nothing extra. But if you're able to, then that may be a possibility. It may not. You may be able to say, hey, extra board is slow, but it's not slow at this terminal because they don't have a lot of drivers. Can I go here and bag out for a week? You know, that may be something you want to do. It, it may not. It's all on your lifestyle, what you can do if you want to do it. There's sometimes options, but then there's sometimes there there isn't. Sometimes you just got to got to grit your teeth and, and bear the storm, man, you know, to, to say the least. But it will get better, and this will come to pass. The state of the economy, fuel prices, the cost of living, everything's expensive, everything's out of hand, and it's all a, a trickle-down effect. And, it, and it, until everything becomes stable, it's going to be like this, you know, and, and some of the reports that I'm seeing are saying, you know, summer. Summer gas can be $6 a gallon. That's not what this is about. But I'm just saying, you may want to try to hold on long term. You know, because if you if you are in your current state of employment and they're slow and you can't make it, but let's say you leave and go somewhere else and it's the same thing, then what happens? You know, just if you're going to do that, make sure you that that's a, a, a part of the industry that, that has a lot of work. Or that can keep you busy or you can make, you know, financially what you need to make. So that's something to think about. You know, make sure you do your homework with all that stuff. Go to your dispatchers, the planners. Talk to them. Say, hey, is it is it looking? Is it not? You know, they may say, yeah, we probably get a little better or no. Or they may say, yeah, on this day, we don't have enough people. If you want to come in on this day, one of your days off, we, we probably can use you or, or whatnot. You just got to be able to, like I said, you got to be able to see it through and, and know and that, that, okay, this this ain't going to last forever. This too shall pass. And once you do that, man, I promise you, everything will be all right. Just hold on. Hold on. It's going it's gonna to be all right. So that was just a, a quick video I, I thought I'd put out there. It's not to deter anybody from coming to LTL or anything like that but just know and understand that freight is slow it could be industry wide I don't know I can't speak on that I can only speak on the part of it that I'm in so just gotta hold on see it through kind of tighten down your finances your spending and and, and and this ain't the time to make a lot of per big purchases it's not hold on hold on so as always Make sure you arrive to your pickup and your delivery on time and safely. Call your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Love on somebody today. But most importantly, be the reason that somebody smiles today. The world needs it now more than ever. It's Sir Mel coming to you from the one and only Small Fry Show. And I'm out. Peace.